Hello everybody, my name is Ace Face, and welcome back to the T0-T6 Abyss series. We're here, yet again, doing another T5 Abyss. It's been a while actually since we did this series. It's been quite a while, and we need to make more progress towards this. You know, over my uh, almost four years of doing YouTube videos here, this is one of the series that I'm most proud of. It just feels very cool that we've been able to go from the very bottom to the very top. Or like, not we're still not at the very top here, but we're at the T5 Abyss. And we just did that all from a basic little Punisher in a T zeros. So it's something that I really enjoy a lot, even though maybe it seems like something very repetitive, but it feels like we're doing a lot of progress here. Slowly but surely, a lot of progress. We've done over 100 parts. This is a, a very uh, long adventure, which has been taking the course over. Started in February 2022. And then I've been doing like occasionally like a video a week or something like that, so I could obviously be playing more. But it's been something that's been going on for a while. And uh, it's really nice to see what we've been able to accomplish here with the T5 Z. Let's just get a bit closer. That Rodiva is keeping range. Because I was trying to just now, and I was talking to you guys, trying to attack those uh, rogue drones, but the problem was that I think that these. Redeavers are giving too much remote repairs, so I can't do that. Wreck this guy here. Corp, what corp do I have here? Okay, good. Still on the NPC corp. Possibly I maybe should tra uh, change actually to a different corp that has 0% tax, because then uh, I'll perhaps get a little bit more ISK, I think, on the on the sell orders. Actually, I don't know if that is just the sell orders or it's the bounties. Possibly it's just the bounties, actually. Yeah, let's wreck this guy here. Use a web of fire. I tend to have a bit of a hard time catching these... Uh, these rogue drones. When they've got Rodivas here doing some big remote repairs to them. What have we got here? We've got a short range and then another short range. There's a lot of... Even automata going on here that should be able to take care of these drones. Let's speed up a bit. I feel like we're going so slow. Don't need to be going so slow. And we can take the rest, take out the rest of them with the scorch. I think I do not dare to deploy my drones. It's not going to be a good time here. <laughs> See if we go to the scorch. There we go. So we can just use that. That's okay. We need now to just get close to the transfer conduit. Let's go there. Get a bit closer. I wreck these frigates here, because look, now that the Rotivas are gone, they did die very quickly to the deep water mountain suppressors that were wrecking them. We need to actually also take that <laughs> divide out of cash. We need that loot. No one needs to forget about the loot. <laughs> Could actually just grab the MTU, actually. Get that. Scorch. MTU. Maybe it could have something in there. Approach that empty a bit closer here. Keep a range 500. Should only take uh, 20 seconds to pull that extraction out in. So what did we get here? Anything good? Oh, we got a chaotic electrical. That's good. That's one of the biggest costs of this. These running these filaments, 23 million, and only 2.9 million in survey database. That's nothing. Pull that in. Pull that in. Extraction node. Come on, let's go. Uh, it was not so much, but it was something at least. Same amount of isk as the loot we picked up through the, the true army survey data. Transfer conduit here. Oh, this is going to be an easy way. Oh, look at that. We've got so many extraction nodes. Let's go and snipe these guys real quick. There. Now we have to use our drones. Take out the snare classes. I don't like them. There. And split them up a little bit here. Go to the bite out of cash. Oh, I didn't shoot quick enough. Let's go quickly before we get webbed too hard. Get to that transfer conduit there. Oh, we got webbed now. Get those drones on the extraction node. And we can split up these guys a bit. Also destroy the bite out of cash. Oh, we're taking quite a bit of damage. I saw our armor suddenly go down. I think it's because of the reactive armor heart that we've got here. Get closer. Keep a range 500. Everything's destroyed. We can recall those drones because they're going to get shattered by these 
rogue drones who are very powerful. They've really got application. They're going to annihilate our own drones. Okay, we're not, we're not able to shoot when they're 30 kilometers away with multi frequency. <laughs> Approach this MTU. It was a bit annoying how the MTU and the transfer cord were right, right close to each other, so I worry that I'm going to click on the wrong one. Not that I can click on it right now and there's still NPCs in the grid, but it's still. Not really able to apply too well to these guys. Let's move a little bit so we can get a bit better application going on. We've also got this fog caster who's making everything worse. Pick up the snare caster here. A little bit of range here, because when we pull a bit of range, we get a bit better application. Because the problem is they're going so fast. I don't know if there's a tachyon cloud or something that's boosting their speed. Let's use our drones to help a little bit here. I feel like something's up with that tachyon cloud over there. I see them suddenly moving really quickly. Going extremely slow, this rogue drone wave. It doesn't usually go this slow. Oh, recall those drones, recall the drones. Ah, oh, we lost one. That's the, what I meant by the rogue drones being very powerful. You know, you just leave them out, your own drones a little bit, and the rogue drones will eat them alive. Look at that guy over there. Now for this one. Oh, air daily goals. Popped. And now for this one here. And destroy that strike lance over there. Well, this rogue drone wave is really taking a really a long amount of time. Open up that back right to you. It could be maybe this field weaver was uh, helping a bit with the remote reps, but I think just generally speaking, our application wasn't that good. Let's pull range a bit here. That scrub is wanting to keep range from us, and going he's like orbiting us perfectly. Okay, open this up. Fourteen million from all these four extraction nodes, and only fourteen million. That is not good. I don't know why Zealot loves to keep range. Just like, oh yeah, you know what? Let's, I approached this, but he decided, you know what? I'm just going to go off on a complete wild goose chase. Next room. And the last room here for this site. So, so far, full loot clearing, and we've got 43 million. Not that great. But everything can get changed by those really big drops. Entanglers could be good to take out. Oh, there's so many webifies. I'll try to destroy these guys I think they're gonna get close to us quickly look how they're approaching us very fast I want to get close to that extraction node over there so I can send my drones to it and take it out more than half the room are webs and now I can go to the scorch or the call flag high DPS weaponry do you guys have any guesses of how many sites we're going to have to do until we get to the T6 abyss we've sitting we're sitting on about 300 million isk loot in our station and uh, our current ISK is 134 minutes, not that much actually. And then, if you think of it, we need about quite a bit more ISK. You can see here what, how much we need, but our ship currently is worth 1.8 billion. T6 has 8.7 billion. <laughs> so we're going to need quite a lot of sites. I think though we can cheapen the, the fit slightly, because a lot of these are using like these 06 implants. Then again, I think I did actually cheapen it a bit. Let's see here. 8.7. I think that's including all the implants. And I do think I have some implants actually already. So, you know, I said that our ship is worth 1.8 bill. Well, that's the ship. I think our actually implants are worth quite a bit as well. Asclepians here. So these are, there's some of these as well. I can't remember how much these are worth. Let's see. View market details. 290 million. I think it's about half a billion is of worth of implants as well. There's going to be quite a lot of T5. Oh, we lost a drone again. Annoying. Oh, we've not got any skills training. We need to train those skills. Important to train the skills. <laughs> what am I doing? Navigation. Can be good to train some of these. Just so you have some skills training. Always good to have some skills training. Otherwise, just wasting. Recall those drones, please. Actually, we can go to the origin conduit there. Now we use the MTU. Thing is, I've been mainly on my main account recently, so I haven't been on this one, so I wasn't paying attention to the skills. But planetary interaction training. Rigging can be very good to train, you get some extra armor rigging, especially. That That is a good one, because that'll affect our armor rigs. That's good, we should do that one first. Add everything. Energy weapon rigging. That one is good. Just so we're training something. Origin conduit. Okay, put that. MTU here. You can check how many sites we've been doing in the activity tracker. You can see in the encounters, abyssal dead space, and then the successful completions. We did 60 
T4s, 10 T5s. You know, now that I think about it, 60 T4s doesn't seem to me that bad for being what I needed to get a T5 ship. I mean, it's a lot of sites, don't get me wrong, but I feel like that was uh, quite a bit of... Not as many as I thought. So, almost as many as T1 were required to get to... Uh, to, to get the next tier of this compared to the T4s. Probably it's going to be a similar situation here as well when doing the T5s and then sometimes we get this really massive loot drops which are going to give us a massive boost towards T6 but it's cool to see though we've done T10 of them so far. My guess is probably, this is just a guess, but probably we'll be having to land on maybe a hundred sites for T5, but who knows? It could perhaps it can be a lucky drop scenario, and they will get so much more. But I'm guessing we'll have to end up in about 100 T5 electrics before we get to the T6 uh, capable fit. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of sites. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's enough for now. There's another episode of the T0 to T6 Abyss series. Thanks for coming along with my little journey here. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.